Gym Run Quartz here, session two. First movement, as always, speed agility, jogging on the spot. Not too fast, and up some control into two foot jumps. And then we're going to do five hops, one foot, five on the other. And back to jogging on the spot for five hops. Swap. Back to jogging. So when you're hopping, hop as high or as low as you like, back to two for jumps. It's the hops, push through the ankle. And then jogging again, getting the whole body nice and warmed up. Small jumps. Onto the hops, a bit higher this time, using your arms to jump a bit higher. One last time. Nice and quick on the jog. Jumps. Ready on the hops, nice big hops to finish. And the other way. Catch your breath there. So for our core stability, we're going to do a rocking movement. So down onto our backs. Partner one, get ready. Knees into hips. It's chest, like so. Chin on chest, and you're gonna rock back and rock forward. So here we go, back, very good, bring it around here, rocking forward. Again, if you're only on a hard floor, be careful. Stay nice and controlled, keep your chin on your chest. It's all about keeping it nice, strong, and If you can touch the floor, put it on your head. Fantastic, if you can't, don't worry. Just go as far as you can. Push off the feet each time. Last five seconds or so, pull up a little more. Keep it nice and tight, keep the feet in. And change. So this should be part of two now. Make sure you don't go too close to anybody else in the room. If you're inside, here we go. So, in theory, your head shouldn't be touching the floor because your chin is always on your chest. So we're just rocking our back, keeping the knees in, keeping the hips bent. Here we go. Give it 10 seconds left. Nice one. Take it out there. Arm straight. Bench press ups. So really important for this one, that your partner holds your chair throughout to keep it safe. And we're going to do a press up on the chair. With our knees on the floor, if they need to be, just pushing down, chest all the way, chair, and back. Chest, chair, and back. Really important that you get a full range of movement. This is our easiest version. Make it harder, turn up onto both feet. Great, you know, I'm looking to go all the way down to the floor, fantastic. So, control, harder again. It's a simple press. Just break at the elbow, push all the way down to the floor. Part of two should just start going now. So first option, from the knees, shoulders nice and relaxed, strong tummy muscles, chest is perfect, chair, if your knees are hurting or if you want a bit more of a challenge, put on your feet, bend at the elbows, push back, and then partners holding the chair for out. Thank you. 
more of a challenge again, breaking the deal, we can get all the way down to the floor and up. Only if we can do this one. We're wobbling up one, we're going to stay on the chin. 10 more seconds. Arms down to eight, shoulders down to eight. One more. Well done. So moving through to our legs, we're going to do a lunge. I'll show you sideways on. So nice big step up and push back. So we'll rotate one foot in the other. You'll notice I start bringing my arms in for balance. So opposite arm to there. If you find this one quite hard, just make a smaller lunge. Don't drop as far. If you want more of a challenge, take it further. That's it. Last few partners, number one. Coordinate his arms. So we'll just go back to the normal ones again. Take your time each time. Key is to get the right arm and the right leg. You notice that both feet are facing the same way, and it's always controlled. Keep it going. Shoulders relaxed. So we'll do a few smaller ones.
third gear, probably half speed. This is our starting pace. So it doesn't matter what your final speed is, just halve it and run at that pace for 20 seconds. And then in about three, we're gonna go up a gear to the fourth, two, one. So we're running slightly quicker now. Fast jog. Shift from the side. Try to stay on the same point. Looking forwards, working the arms. Getting ready for our fifth gear, back to the front. Three, two, one, here we go, now we're fifth gear. So we're really picking that pace up now, out of breath. Come on, keep it going. Can you run as quick as the person next to you? Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll stop the clock there, shake it out, catch your breath, high five your partner if you've got one and we'll see you next time.